Ah, uh, welcome back, the citizens of Carthage, to another to another episodes of the Chronicles of Rome: Total War Two. So, guys, as you guys know, we are we are in a little bit of a bind, and not in a bind because one, we have well, let, let me just sum it up like this: I'm giving up on this city, like. I'm giving up on this entire peninsula. I mean, if Syracuse wants it, they can have it. I may come back later in the years and go attack them and go do all this crazy, you know, cool stuff. But right now, I feel like, you know, why not? We should. Let's play dirty while we're here. <laughs> while while we're doing this, we might as well play dirty. Come on, come on, come on, assassin. You are the most terrible assassin I've ever hired. Anyways, um, yeah, I'm basically gonna give up over there, and the situation dealing with over here. You know, I was honestly about to go attack with Gusto and be like, "Yeah, let's go destroy this the Magali city. Yeah, we're gonna be so cool. Yes, not Sparta, but Carthage. Yeah, but I'm kind of worried about this fleet over here, like." It kind of worries me that there's a gigantic fleet of soldiers just sitting out right there. So I'm going to really have to be thinking about that when I attack. And it also kind of bugs me that my own, my own like, vassals and I have been using this army to try to go defend this city over here. Or attack it. It just doesn't make any sense to me. Anyways. Yeah. Also, I think I'm going to be trying to making up a new gigantic army. And the purpose of this new gigantic army is to be. Wait, did we? Hey, do we have some soldiers in here? Hey, we have a new general in here. Ah, oh, sweet. I think he's supposed to be keeping order, but I don't think that's happening. Anyways, um, I think I'm gonna be raising up a new gigantic army. Raise an army. I already have a general. My lord. Okay, you raise up army. Yeah. I already have an army. I'm just going to. I know. I'm gonna start raising up my own army because you know what I want to do. I want to go take down the rest of these guys, the Garmentas, because you know what? I think they do deserve to be de destroyed. Like, legitimately, I think they do deserve to be destroyed. I still harbor really bad feelings of them just destroying my entire land and leaving me for dust. So, yeah, that's one of my strategies in this area. So, yeah, that's going to be one of my strategies. So, I'm going to be attacking these guys. Um... We fight for I think I'll attack these guys, but I'll attack them in a very, very smart way. I'll use my elephants. My best elephants in the world! Okay, what do we need? I think we need more cunningness with this general. This guy's gonna be more trained with cunningness than anything. Ambition, he's not very ambitious, and he's not very... We gotta, we gotta fix a couple of those things. Anyways, we... Okay, let's see. There's also something we could do over here. No, good. It isn't destroyed or anything like that. It doesn't have any slump. That's why I'm trying to make sure... Every single one of my cities to make sure they don't have any slums. Over here, this thing is the all healing. That's good. Um, How can I mediumly, mediumly okay army over here just chilling. You know, just just chilling. I mean, there's not really much to do over here. This army is about to go across the last resistance of the of the Edidai or whatever they're called. And yeah, this my plan for Spain or the Iberian Peninsula is just. I want to conquer these two places, and then next I'm going to go for an attack right here if I can. Right in this center province, that way we will control an entire province or entire region ourselves. Which I think would help us a lot in the long run, seriously, if we controlled an entire region ourselves. So, yeah. There we go, and is there anything else? Uh, would you guys like to make peace? Maybe? Maybe? You know, maybe you guys Do won't be jerks. Do in like a Ma desert beggar. If you have something to say, say it like a civilized man. I'm out. Okay. You talk big words for the fact that you guys... For the fact that you guys aren't really that powerful. Okay. I can talk big words too. Me have eloquent words. You listen. Yeah. There we go. That's my eloquent words, everyone. Okay. Anyways, the Enthruscan lead, the Seleucids, and all these other guys are now going. They're now taking their turn, which is going to be a very, very long process. Because this game has extremely long fashion rates. You know, I think, you know, a lot of people have kind of been mad about this new, like, factions. Like, 137 factions are now in the game. And 
While I do agree that the loading times are much more, uh, arguous, or much more unenjoyable, um, I don't know, I think it adds a different level of, what's the word I'm trying to look for here? It adds more to the game. I think that's my overall general conclusion, is that it adds more to the game when you have a lot of different factions, because, like, one, it always bugged me that the Gaul faction was united already. Or, like, the, uh, you know, Greek Seasage. Oh, that bugged me so much. Rebellion! Yay! Actually, that's really good. If you guys can rebel, I'll be so happy. I mean, the usual times I let you guys rebel, not many times. Okay, good. Destroy the last ship. Just go destroy them. I mean, it's not... It's not like this, but yeah, last ship, last ship here, okay, kill anyone that lives, okay, yay, level up, my army's getting better, okay, too bad I'll lose my port here soon, <laughs> okay, military tactician, mercenaries, under high, I don't really use mercenaries with this unit, upkeep for non-mercenary units, let's do that, because that could help us out a lot. Having less upkeep with these units would help us out a lot. Anyways, though, um, yeah, fishing war. I think, hmm, I think over here what I might do. Oh yes, this is a port. Oh yes, reinstate a legacy. Yes, this is a port over here. I didn't know we got we got a new port. But yeah, wait, wait before I get before I get past this, yes, yes, that's what I think is I do think that. While the loading times are arguably one of the most strenuous things now in this game, I still love... I still love... Uh, let's convert and dismantle. Oh, great, this needs to become a Hellenistic village. Shoot. Um, I still believe that this is still a very, very... Dang it. I still believe that this is a very, very good thing. So, there we go. Now that I got that out of me, um, what am I going to do? Well, I'm going to be raising up a new army to go and uh, attack people. Right now, we have very little public order. In fact, these guys are basically saying they hate me. That's okay. I've been hated before. It's not that bad. Okay. Over here, though, we have a unprotected city, which I will uh, take advantage of. And I'll meet you guys on the battlefield. Wait, what does Encircle do? Surround the summit and wait out the defenders. Auto save. Assault. Brace these. Ah, let's just assault. So guys, I'll see you guys on the battlefield. Okay, welcome back, guys. So, it's a dry season. There's no there's no clouds in the air. This is perfect battle position. Because I don't personally like the rain. It bogs up my system, and I don't really like that. Let's see. Let's get all of our men right here. Gonna get my elephants all in one position. Because basically, if you guys haven't figured this all out, I'm just gonna make my elephants charge in and just destroy everyone. I really don't think, if I plan this correctly, like we did last time in our last battle, where my elephants just demolished. Oh my goodness, that was hilarious. Demolished almost everyone in that city. I don't think I'll be able to. I don't even think I really need to use this massive force, so. We just have to see what they're going to do. And have to see where the most maximum amount of attack can be from. Okay, that's where most of their men is. I'm going to set up my army accordingly. Because all we need to do is do that. Okay. Fast forward. Do do do. And I'm just going to watch my elephants transfer. Just in case, though, so, I'll have my. No, wait. I don't want my elephants included in this. This one elephant. No, elephant. Don't go through men. Okay, good. Okay. And I'm going to have my other men go back here. You guys go back there. Okay, my elephants are setting up their massive charging positions. Okay. They look what? Oh, that one just doesn't know what to do. Now, now it's realizing what it's supposed to do. Okay, my riders are all ready. Everyone put in melee mode. Okay, looks like we have tribesmen, tribesmen, uh, tribesmen. Okay, let's go do this. Do 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 do. Okay, and now what we'll do is we'll start running and. Yeah, okay, we're gonna watch this guy's. I'm gonna watch from this guy's angle. Hey, this guy's bald. And he doesn't look like the rest of his friends. Whoa! Oh, shoot! Oh, you did not just do that! 
Maximum elevation! Shoot, I didn't realize I had L choose. Charge! Boom! Destroy them! Boom! Boom! We're going to take revenge for that! Yeah, boom them! Boom! I wanted them all dead. Everyone, go attack! Oh, yeah, that was a cheap shot. Just keep attacking them. Oh, that was cheap. I did not know you guys had spears. Oh, gosh. Luckily, you guys didn't damage any of my men, but still, you could have, so. Ah. Oh. Okay. Everyone else, go right here. My elephants can just go run down all these guys. They're all running pretty fast away from these things. Even though my elephants are just casually walking. I mean, look at this. They're just casually walking right next to them. Just like, uh, this guy's like, uh, 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 I'm going to outrun this elephant. Oh, no, wait, I'm not. I'm not. I'm going to outrun this elephant. <laughs> and then the elephant horde is not really doing anything. Don't really have to do anything. Yeah, we did it. That was pretty much, that, that was... Oh, that that was like the great moment right there where we just cramp we just destroyed everything. You guys, we wanna just I know I'm gonna tie you guys out, but can you guys hurry up? I mean, this we basically just destroyed all the men they have. I mean, they don't have any they might have some more men over here, but I don't think they're using them and I think I destroyed everything else. My general is chasing down these guys who are almost all dead. Ooh! That guy's day just got ruined. And yeah, trampling, stomped to death by elephant is probably not the most best thing you could put on your job resume, but yeah, <laughs> that's all I gotta say. Is just yeah, okay. Now we own the center. I'm pretty sure there's no one else on the map, so yeah, we won. We won. Yep, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Damn, done. We're done, right? Thank you. End the battle. Yeah. Okay, guys. See you on the overview map. And that was our victory, guys. And in the battle log, it has said that we lost absolutely no one in that battle. No one died in it, and we get free reign to now do this. Waiting for more orders. Military traditions. Thank you. Okay. So. Cargo. Oh, this sees a part of cargoes? Okay, I'm gonna have to remember to. I'm gonna have to remember that this is a part of cargo. Okay, so since it can convert it, is this already converted or is this a. This is a Hellenistic Hamlet, so it's already converted. Alright. Over here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna convert this. I'm gonna spend most of my money to convert this, because we need. We need the cultural assimilation process to begin as soon as. as possible. Because. Having a barbarian village will mean disaster for us. You must repair the first building in the chain before constructing another. Uh, click here to search it. Convert. Hmm. Okay, then let's just dismantle this. We don't need. We don't need that in our city. Okay, so yeah, I guess we can't do that. Um, over here though, we could probably repair. We could probably repair the Hellenistic village because that is of our kin. And what well, is this can be converted? Uh, shipwright, harbor, fishing port. We want a fishing port. Food, comments, or money. Money, or do we want a shipwright? A harbor. Hmm, uh, this will give us more salt. Provide the garrison, unlock units, hoplites. Hmm. I know I don't think we actually have a shipwright in any of my cities, so this Malady Malcolmies could be like my new shipwright area, which could be nice. Could be nice, but hmm. Still want to look at this. So a farm, the humble farm, carries everything. You know what? A farm. We can repair the farm. Okay. Anyway, so now let's look at my army. It has absolutely no one dead, and it has militaristic tradition for the fact that it did so well doing its. It's attack. That was like awesome. I mean, just inflicted by all melee units. Intoxable inflicted by all melee units. I think intoxable conquer would be good for us. Okay. Anyways, though, 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to start queuing in some new units. I'm going to queue in those guys. Because I think having these guys, I mean, while I like them, I think we're going to need a little bit more. Because I could always see that these guys are probably going to attack me again to try to regain this city. And there's already a rebel army over there. That wasn't me. <laughs> uh, so I'm probably guessing that these guys are probably going to do some kind of attack on us to regain the city. So we're going to have to quickly build up as much as we can, as quickly as we can. I don't even think we're going to be able to get one turn before they're going to come after us. Maybe. I highly doubt it. I seriously highly doubt So yeah. Over here, we got some more units. I'm going to raise some more men. Um, we can actually can get something cheaper. No. Gosh, these guys are way superior to these guys. Um, yeah, are we... Yeah, let's see. Is there any good mercenaries over here? Saying it. You cannot afford to recruit this unit cost. Dang it. Okay. Maybe next maybe that's what I'll do next turn. Because we all know we all know the effectiveness of the uh, war elephant. And all we need to do is just let's see, can we still hire it? Yes. Okay, you know what? Next turn I'll just wait right now and next turn I'll hire like two war elephants and then we'll go to war with these guys. Wipe them out finally, and that way then we'll control like a good amount of area down here. Okay? Okay. Let's see. Yep. Break! Oh. That's kind of BS right there. But I guess it must happen. I, I don't know when my people were trading slaves. I was a pretty nice ruler. I didn't do any of that, but... Apparently my people were trading slaves without me knowing it. Wow. I feel kind of dirty right now. Do you guys feel dirty? Well, you should. Okay. We have an assassin coming over to try to do some assassin -y stuff. We have our Nova Cartage people holding in there. I've been surprised this entire game they've held in this long. Um, we have more enemies to the north. We always have enemies. The Nakamines are coming after me. They are... Oh, they just like right, right took the city, I guess. Oh, because I oh because my men were not inside it. Oops. Yeah, that's a mistake you usually don't make on a on a total war let's play. And yeah, but at least you know maybe I I don't know maybe it's a good thing. Maybe I mean it did look like they have a bigger force than we did, and we did not want to be outnumbered. So maybe it's a good thing that they took that, and so then we can just go and maybe do some just siege battles. Maybe they'll attack us and we can, like, go get revenge. Okay, now they took Liberium. Okay. Military sabotage. Tali. Hidden agent exposed. Okay. Did they kill me again? No, they did not kill this general. Good. I was about to say, this general's pretty awesome. I don't want him to die again. Okay, so let's see. Let's see. Let's see what this army was. Oh my goodness, these guys are basically gods. Um... Holy shoot, they have so much access to so much, too. 2,700, yeah, let's just... We're going to break off the siege and just get out of there because that's a little bit too much for us to deal with. With the with the army and the big men, that's just slightly bit too much. Maybe we'll go now to go to Laocris and just go attack them. It also might be good if we go... What we really need is these four elephants. Because this is what we really want in our army. I mean, I'm not, I'm not joking with you guys either because... These guys are like the killers of the army, so you guys declare war. Why not? I don't think you guys have a. Yeah. I'm taking some revenge. Yeah. Oh, I attacked during a good time. They have nothing. Really? Why does it say I have no possibility? Uh, what? Only available when attacking the province. Why does it say I have no chance of winning? I have three elephants. I'm pretty sure that constitutes me as basically winning. And I have a counter to each one. The spears aren't going to be that effective. The slingers aren't going to be that... Oh, whatever. Let's get on the battlefield. We'll decide this like men. I don't believe in the stats. Okay, guys. This should be the last battle of today's episode, but... Yeah, why do the stats say so bad things about this battle? I mean, yes, it seems impossible that a couple of lone elephants could possibly destroy a group of lots of trained army men. But, it's been done before, I guarantee it, it's been done before in the history, 
and it'll be done today. I mean, look at this! That looks pretty dang impressive if you ask me. I would not want to face that. Okay. So let's see. Where's the majority of them men? Okay, seems like they're not. Seems like we don't know where they are yet. So I'm just going to move up my men to a kind of semi position because I want to make sure that I keep them grouped up. Gonna have my soldiers just casually move into the center of town. Let's go. Okay, we're just casually scouting. We don't know where the enemy is yet. Um, my elephants. Okay, there, there they are. There they are. All of them. Okay. So what we're gonna do is just like what we did last time. Is we're gonna charge in with a massive force. Do this. And I'm pretty sure this time they actually do have... Yep, yep, yep. I knew it this time. They actually do have spears. But this time I don't really care. So let's watch the epic charge of the elephants. Yeah, that does not look... That does not look very... Oh my goodness! That looks very scary. You guys might want to run. You guys might want to run. I mean, this is not... This is definitely not happy hour. Boom. 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 Oh my goodness. It's a lot of troops. Yeah, just keep charging. Just keep charging, you guys. Get over here, please. And just keep charging. Just keep charging. That's all you have to do. Okay, we have a massive group of elephants. And I'm just keep on charging. Keep on trucking. Yeah, just keep on charging. That's all you have to do. Yeah, we're just... We're just... Wow. Gosh. <laughs> I think we just routed all of them, man. All due to the elephants. All. Oh my goodness! Look! Look at that car. <laughs> look at all those dead. This is all due to the elephants. Okay, I'll have these guys. Oh my! What? <laughs> oh. <laughs> See you guys on the battle on the battle map. Okay, guys. So, if you guys want to know the end battle, we lost one elephant, and we killed almost enough of them. We could sub- so, our options are we could loot them, we could subjugate them, we could raise it, or we could loot it. I really do like- or we could just peacefully occupy. Only negative 25 per turn. You know, I don't really need any more money. Honestly, let, let's be real here. I don't really need any more uh, money, so just conquering them would be nice. And just n annexing these guys will help, you know, secure a better state for our minds. So the diligent man of wealth has finally gained some things, and the faction destroyed. Yes, good. Okay, you guys will now get a different skill point. I'm going to give this guy one to authority. He's going to be my authoritative general. Like, he's going to be major all about authority. But yeah, that was, that was the best. War elephants, honestly, unstoppable. Really should. I really should be advocating for it. They should fix it, but no. They should not. They should. This is real. They really are overpowered. I will not deny that. They really are overpowered, but should they fix it? No. I love this overpoweredness. And they're, fi they're already making a Hellenistic village for me, so I don't you have to do that. You, my lord. Um, let's see. What I am going to do is I am going to. How can I, serve I guess Martin? over here. Huh. I'm just gonna have these guys move away. Because I, I don't want these guys to get, like, killed by this gigantic army just yet. Because that'd be really bad. Um. Am I gonna have you guys stay there for too long? Well, I want you. Wait, what? Okay, yeah, one more turn and then that's done. Oh, that's, what, that's what they were saying. Okay, next I'm gonna start working on militaristic tradition again. Because I wanna get that elephants. I wanna get this elephants. Exotic Emily charging so I can get just I can start making elephants off the wazoo. Oh, that would be nice. That would be nice. And then making new street men. Yeah, this is really where I want to be. I mean, this could also be pretty good, but uh, yeah, maybe next time. Maybe next time I'll get that. But anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time.